This is my kitchen. It's a huge mess. Here's my dishes that I need to wash. I don't have a dishwasher, but honestly, it would not make a difference. It just seems like I can never manage to get my act together to get them done. Here's my beautiful kitchen table. This was clean at one point. This is last night's dinner. I am gonna put it in the fridge. But my fridge is problematic. I need to clean it out because it's gross and it smells. This is all old papers. This is stuff that needs to be washed and put away and thrown away. That would be this week's dinner on the floor. So we're gonna have, be having spaghetti and tacos. And I don't know why I haven't put it away. Ooh, some yarn. Didn't know I had that. This is my bedroom. This is my bed. I share it with crap. And then there's my pile of stuff. Here's the cat primer that needs to be put together. Here's the cat who would benefit from it. And there's the other cat. <laughs> I don't currently have sheets on my bed. I washed them, and now they're in one of these laundry baskets somewhere. Obviously, it would be better with the sheets on, but what can I say? It is what it is. And this is my closet. Obviously, I have stuff in front of the closet, which prevents me from getting at it. Just papers and laundry and a boot that I can only find the one of. All of this stuff I plan to have go to the Salvation Army. How long is that going for? Like three months, maybe a little bit more. This is my living room. These are clothes that need to be put away. I don't consider myself a collector, but other people might. I do love pens. There's markers, because I love crafts. I love like coloring. I love, I love, I love mini binders. This is my project binder, because I like to stay organized. When I first moved in, there were boxes right here. Now, it seems like no matter how many times I move the boxes, I get another pile. It's beyond me. All right, good to meet you. Thank you. It's good um, to meet you, too. They want you to change. I want to change. Okay, why are you doing what you're doing? I have no idea. Not a clue? No. Okay. I try. I try and I try and I try, but it just doesn't work out. Okay, well, let me see some of these pictures here. Okay. Uh, let, let's look at your house. This is the way that you are living, as opposed to a space like you're in now, which is without clutter. You can, this is a floor. <laughs> you can see a floor. Wow. These are chairs that people can sit in. Now, you choose, show me the floor in this picture. You can't over even there in see that it. Little corner. Yeah, right. There's like a quarter inch over there. All right. You're doing this day after day, week after week, month after month. And days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, months turn into years, years turn into your lifetime, and you look back and this is your existence. Yes. What is your payoff for living this way? What are you getting out of it that makes you do this tomorrow and the next day and the next day? Well, first, I don't consider myself doing this. I feel like it's something that I'm not doing. Does that make sense? It's I'm not doing look, look, all the cleaning and who stuff. Who put that stuff in there? Me. So you are doing it. All right. If I told you right now there's a truck backing up to your house, mm -hmm. and when you get home, it is empty. You're what are you doing be, with my cats? There's not going to be a thing there <laughs> except two cats. Okay. How would you feel? I would be a little bit pissed because I know that the stuff that I have from my parents is in there. All's going to the dump. Can you take it to the Salvation Army so somebody can benefit from it? Mm -hmm. But other than that... I'm not sure that I really care. <laughs>